Marie Glenn Durant uh, has also uh, tonight brought his A game to the lakeside, but would it be enough to get past Bobby George's tip and the new kid in the friendly green block, Jamie Hughes? Well, Glenn, two sets to one up, halfway there, and it's one all in legs in the fourth as we join it. Forty-six. And here's an opening for the seventh seeded Durrant. Ninety-six. Fifty-seven. Eighty-five. Quiet start to this leg here. Jamie Hughes has the darts. Glenn Durrant wants to find a couple of trebles. 58. You can't do so. 58. Scrappiest leg of the match, probably. It doesn't last long. It doesn't stay scrappy, does it? Not with these two on the hockey. Just a little bit of a breather after the brilliance that we've had. So Jamie will be first to a finish. Doesn't Possibly. take much out of 171 though. Possible opening here for Glenn Durrant. One hundred and forty. Jamie require one hundred and twenty. Two excellent trebles, putting real pressure on this one twenty-eight as Hughes looks to hold the throw. Good first dart. Good second dart. Double ten. One twenty-eight. One hundred and eighteen. One hundred and eighteen wasn't enough, and it's fifty-two now for Durrant for a leg against the throw. Double sixteen. Oh, oh, oh. Doesn't count because it has to be thrown deliberately. And over your shoulder, like someone chucking some salt for good luck, is clearly not a deliberate attempt to hit the board. So, two 16s to break the throw of Hughes. Outstanding from both players. Just to repeat then, Jamie Hughes is making his lakeside debut. He looks like he was born to play on the big stage. Glenn Durrant, whose finishing is clinical, whose scoring is so powerful. He's only here for the second year, and he's never been beyond round two. He's never won two sets in round two so far. These aren't lakeside powerhouses. These are relative newcomers, but they're treating us to a really tasty contest. We haven't got a clue who's going to win it, but just at the moment, the advantage is with the seventh seeded Glenn Duran. A boy from the black country, Jamie Hughes, as he likes to be known, with plenty to ponder right now. I'll tell you another man who will have a, a little bit to ponder, although he will certainly be enjoying the spectacle. And that's Daryl Fitton who will play the winner of this one. Something else to look forward to. 140. Down to a finish. A two-figure finish. Glenn Dur Durren. 
for the set. 125. Lenny require 86. 86 then for the set. Well, Jamie back on 235. 54. Glenn can afford just to set it up after missing the target with darts one and two. Fifty-eight. Look for 25 there to leave him Glenn on 170. Looks to the heavens. Double 16 then for Durant for a 3-1 lead. And he's Good got the set the back, set. but he lost Glenn with Durant. the darts. He breaks back straight away. Durant has a two-set advantage. Another set, and he's in to the quarterfinals. Pit set, first leg, Glenn, two throw first. Game on. He has the darts as well. Six-year-old Lacey watching at home. Nervous times for her. Nervous times for 96. Jamie's fiance Jane, here at the lakeside. Nervous times for all those watching back in Tipton at the tilted barrel. And most of all, of course, 78. nervous times for Jamie Hughes. But Yozza has got out of situations like this in the past. Just needs to find his best darts. That's going to fall out surely. Quick, Glenn, throw. He's got to retrieve it before he falls out, but he managed that easily enough in the end. Absolutely no way he could throw anything towards the top half of the board after that. 140. Hasn't had a 180 for a while, Jamie. Forty-four. That was a significant look at the score and a significant sigh. Glenn might let him in again here, though. Sixty. Has done. Well, Jamie Hughes knew that he had to break the Durant throw in set number three, and he managed it. Has to break it in set number five to stay in the tournament. 58. And this is the first of three opportunities to do so, and it does look as though it may be passing him by. Marginal advantage, but hasn't negated the fact that Durant's got the throw. 97. One, 137 here. Something similar would do him a massive favour. 85. Glenny McQuarrie, 92. A 92 to move a little closer. Treble 17 would have left double eight, but the single leaves him a shot at the bullseye. Good oh, yes. shot the first leg. Left over. Second leg, Jamie two for first. Game on. Does it, does it. Brilliant dart. One hundred. Well, being from Tipton, Jamie Hughes loves the ball, but Glenn Durrant's loving it even more at the moment. That's four successive legs that he's won. Ninety-six. Steve Bull. That was a little reference to from Jim. Another England international from Tipton. Fifty-nine. And Jamie's sporting hero. Also likes his boxing, Jamie Hughes, and to use an analogy from that sport, he is on the ropes. 100. But to continue the analogy, he's on the ropes, but with a puncher's chance. Needs to come out swinging. 
Jabs aren't good enough at this stage. But it goes without saying he has to hold his throw. He's got two opportunities to break the Durant throw, and if he can do that, he's right back in the match. 115. The problem that he's had is that Glenn has consistently outscored him in the first nine darts of the 82. leg. He's 18 points better. This news makes no difference over those first nine darts. So he's getting to the doubles more quickly. 85. 99. Well, there you see those first Lenny nine averages, and that's an extraordinary difference. And that's why it's Durant here who's throwing a treble 18 and double 16 for a two-leg lead 89. in this fifth set. Jamie Only just missed. 102. Must get this, Jamie Hughes. Must get it to hold his throw. Treble 14 for tops. Can't now finish. 37. Glenny requires 16. So, Glenn. 2 8. 2 4. Game shot the second leg. One Glenn leg Lewis. away. Third leg, Glenn 2 for first. Game on. Like a runaway train now, Glenn Durrant. Five legs in a row. And if he can extend that to six, he is in to that quarter final against Darrell Fitton. What a start! 180. Maximum number five for him. And he's barely 300 points away now. What a way to start a leg when you're throwing for a place in the Lakeside quarterfinals. He's blocked the bed a little there, so switches down to the 19s, but does so sensationally well. It's unfortunate just to stay in touch here from Jamie Hughes. One hundred and forty. All you can ask of any professional sportsman is that they have the ability to step up to the plate and deliver their best when they need it most. And Durant has done that. This is the biggest game of his life. He averaged 96 against Sedlacek. 96. He's averaging 98 tonight, which is comparable with anybody in the tournament. A little bit like Scott Mitchell this year. Glenn Durant's come here, and he's wandering around up on the 90. World Championship stage. Glenn, he like he owns it. This is for the match. Treble 16 for double 12. So just a single, he can't 89. now finish. Jamie will require 131. Jamie will think back to all the times that he's uh, taken out 131 on a practice board or in anger. He's never needed it more than now. Can't finish now and uh, Jamie Many people as tip for the title on the 40. brink of going out. Glenn Durrant, 40 points away from a place in the quarterfinals at Lakeside. Go He's done it. Glenn Durrant, the boy from Bur has been brilliant. He beats Jamie Hughes by four.